hello students today we are going to continue with the exercise 2.1 of exponent and parse and as you know we have did till question number 9 in our previous video and now we are going to do question number 11 here in this question we have got 9m divided by 3 to the power minus 2 equals to 9 to the power 4 and we have to find the value of m now here we can write this 9m as 3 to the power 2m divided by 3 to the power minus 2 equals to 3 to the power 2 and whole to the power 4 now here we see that we are having a division sign so we will be subtracting the powers and this will become 3 to the power 2m minus minus 2 equals to 3 to the power 2 4 or 8 now we see that both the side LHS and RHS are having the same base so we can write 2m minus minus 2 2m minus minus 2 equals to 8 as the bases are same so the parts will also be equal now solve this equation for m here 2m plus 2 equals to 8 so 2m equals to 8 minus 2 and 2m equals to 6 therefore m equals to 6 upon 2 that is equals to 3 so the value of m is 3 now let's see question number 12 here in this question if this whole expression is equal to this one then find the value of x here we see that all of the bases is minus 5 by 7 here 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 and here too so we'll stick to this we are having a multiplication sign so the parts will be added minus 5 by 7 whole to the power minus 4 plus 12 equals to here the parts will be multiplied first minus 5 by 7 whole to the power 3x into minus 5 by 7 whole to the power minus 1 then we can add these two parts and this will become minus 5 by 7 to the power 8 equals to minus 5 by 7 whole to the power 3x minus 1 now as the bases are same so the parts will also be equal and we can equate them therefore 8 equals to 3x minus 1 that implies 3x equals to 8 plus 1 that is x equals to 9 upon 3 and we get x equals to 3 and here is your answer at the value of x now let's see question number 13 here we get the question number 13 here again we have to find the value of x now in this question we see that here we are having the base of 2 by 3 but here we are having 3 by minus 2 and here again minus 2 by 3 so we will change this one so that all of them may become same that implies minus 2 upon 3 whole to the power minus 13 into minus 2 by 3 whole to the power minus 8 equals to minus 2 by 3 whole to the power minus 2x plus 1 now these two powers will be added as we are having multiplication sign 
so this will become minus 2 by 3 whole to the power minus 3 and plus minus 8 equals to minus 2 by 3 whole to the power minus 2x plus 1 then we see the both of the terms are having the same base therefore on solving these two minus 13 and minus 8 will be getting minus 21 minus 21 equals to minus 2 plus minus 2x plus 1 now make a transpose and this will be 2x equals to 21 plus 1 that is 22 and hence x equals to 22 by 2 and that implies x equals to 11 here we have got the value of x as 11 now let's see question number 14 here in this question we are having 5 to the power 2x minus 1 equals to 1 upon 125 and whole to the power x minus 3 we have to find the value of x now very first of all we will put this number which is in denominator to the numerator and for that what do we do let's see this will be copied 2x minus 1 then here 125 this means 5 to the power 3 when it is moved to the numerator they will be getting 5 to the power minus 3 5 to the power minus 3 whole to the power x minus 3 that implies 5 to the power 2x minus 1 equals to 5 to the power minus 3 x minus 3 now here we see again the bases are same and as the bases are same we can equate the powers therefore 2x minus 1 will be equals to 2x minus 1 equals to minus 3x plus 3 make a uh, transpose 2x plus 3x equals to 3 plus 1 now Here I would like to correct one thing 3 3 is a 9 we are having and here 9 plus 1 that is equals to 10 now here it is 5x equals to 10 and x will be equals to 2 this is the answer for this question let's also see the second part of this one here in this question we are having 9 to the power n and these all numbers which we can see over here that all can be written in the power of 3 so very first of all we are going to convert all of them in the power of 3 so this will be 3 to the power 2 n into 3 to the power 5 into 3 to the power 3 whole to the power 3 upon 3 into 3 to the power 4 whole to the power 4 equals to 3 to the power 2 now after just writing all of them in the form of power 3 we are going to solve them further and this can be written as 3 to the power 2n into 3 to the power 5 into 3 to the power 3 3 there 9 upon 3 into 3 to the power 16 and this is equals to this is 3 to the power 3 sorry here we are going to write 3 to the power 3 again now
we'll go for it we can add all of the parts over here and here too so this can be done as 3 to the power 2n plus 5 plus 9 whole upon 3 to the power 1 plus 16 equals to 3 to the power 3 now here we have got in the numerator and denominator so they can be subtracted so this will be 3 to the power 2n 5 plus 9 that is 14 minus 17 equals to 3 to the power 3 now as again the bases are same so the pass can be equated therefore 3 to the power 2n minus 3 equals to 3 to the power 3 now the bases are same the bases are same so the parts can be equated n minus 3 equals to 3 that is 2n equals to 3 plus 3 it is 2n equals to 6 and n equals to 6 by 2 and n equals to 3 as your answer this was all from your first exercise of 2.1 now before going for the second exercise let's see what is standard form here in standard form we represent extremely larger values or the extremely smaller values in a power notification now here the larger values or the larger number is written as a into 10 to the power n and a smaller number is represented as a into 10 to the power minus n Now, we'll try to understand this concept with the help of few examples. Now, here we have taken few question which is to be converted into the standard form. Now, suppose this is a proper number and if it is not having a decimal sign, we can place a decimal over here. Now, we have to shift this decimal till here. So, how many shifts we are making? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, this can be written as 7.65 into 10 to the power, the number of shift 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 10 to the power 5. As this was a larger number, so we have got a positive sign in the power. Now, again over here we have to shift the decimal from this point that is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so this can be done as 8.4346 into 10 to the power 6 then here in this one we are having a smaller values so very first of all this decimal point will be shifted till here we are going to shift this till here so this will be written as 6.64 into 10 to the power now the number of shifts we are making is 1 2 3 and 4 so this will be 10 to the power minus 4 and similarly over here this is 3 to 6 so this will be 2.6 3 6 into 10 to the power and that will be decided from here that is 1 2 3 4 and 5 so 10 to the power minus 5 now we are doing some question to convert in the standard form 
now let's see a few of the question in which we are converting them into a usual form here 3.52 into 10 to the power 5 the decimal will be shift in the right side as this is positive sign so it is the greater values longer values or the larger values so 3 point is shifting 1 and 2 over here and the remaining will be occupied by the 0 1 2 and 3 so the decimal has shifted from here to the last 1 2 3 4 and 5 now in the second case it is having a negative sign this is for the smaller numbers so the decimal will shift in the left side so we can write 5 7 5 4 then this decimal will shift in this hand 1 2 3 and 4 1 2 3 and 4 so we are going to put the decimal sign and the 0 now here again we are having 3 decimal is shifting from this side so 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 and one more 5 then put a 0 so here the decimal is shifted 1 2 3 4 and 5 times so we've got a minus 5 and then here we are having 5 into 10 to the power 4 so this will be 5 and 4 zeros that's it that's all for the second chapter thank you